Welcome back to the Credible Dev YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about my website, The Credible Dev. I talked about it in a previous video, moving off of Linode and moving to SiteGround. This time I want to talk to you about a change that I made with WordPress. Before I get into that, just want to quickly say thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you. If you enjoy my content, you enjoy the videos, Please leave a comment down below, hit the like button on the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this, or videos about Proxmox and some of the other topics that I cover. So, a big change to my website. Uh, for years, uh, with this website and a lot of the previous websites that I had had, that were kind of a blog-style website, I've always used WordPress. WordPress is all over the place. A lot of people use it. My aggravation with WordPress comes from, you know, using a lot of different plugins to achieve this or that, and um, that tends to slow down the site. You end up having trouble uh, ranking well on the search engines unless you use a lot of plugins that, uh, you know, make a lot of changes uh, to like the SEO type stuff, your tags and and all those things um, and it just bulks the website up and causes it to load slower so then you perform worse on the website speed test and the web vitals and things like that which also play into how you rank in the search engine so I've wanted to for quite a few months to transition away from WordPress to a static H HTML site and I kind of dabbled with it here and there using different things like Jekyll and a few others. And uh, about a week ago, I sit down. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to dive into it. I'm going to get it done. I'm tired of thinking about it and wanting to do it. Let's just get it done. So I ended up landing on Hugo, uh, which does exactly this it's a it's a framework for building websites for static html sites and you use markdown language in order to actually write the web pages and then hugo turns that into an html page which then you just upload or however you want to do it you can have a pipeline where it you know you push it to github and you update it there and then wherever you're hosting the site it automatically gets updated. I'm not quite doing that yet. Right now, pretty old school. I'm, you know, uh, using Hugo to create the, the site, all the HTML files, and then I'm uploading those to SiteGround currently. Uh, there's better ways to do it, and I plan on changing that aspect of it in the future, but for now, it's it's working. And I just want to talk about that process of how you go from WordPress to something like Hugo because it seems like it would be simple and for maybe a lot of sites it is but for mine it was not there are tools that can help you export your WordPress site and then convert it into something you can use for like Hugo for instance it'll just convert all of your existing posts and content into markdown for you and then you can put that into Hugo or whatever framework that you're using uh, the problem I ran into is while that did work, the pages themselves, like the existing content that I had, it wasn't quite usable out of the box. So there was like more work that needed to be done. And uh, you really start with doing an export from your WordPress site, uh, which it's pretty simple to do. You just go to tools and then you're choosing export. And you want to choose all content and you'll download a XML file. And you can feed that XML file into different types of tools that are available that do that conversion to Markdown for you. But what I found uh, was this particular tool uh, from Flower Show. I'll link it down in the description below in case you're interested in, in going through this yourself. Uh, but basically, this is a, a Node.js app. And it will take that XML file that you got from WordPress and do that conversion for you. And this particular tool did the best job out of all the ones I tried. And I probably tried at least four different ones. And this is the one I landed on and actually continued to work with. And while this didn't do everything perfectly, it got it as close as any of the other ones could. 
So basically you just run this. You'll need to have Node.js installed on your computer. And then you'll run this and pass in the XML file that you got. Do the conversion. It'll spit out a bunch of content for you. And then you can kind of review it to see, you know, what kind of changes you need to make. You may not need to make any. In my case, I did. Um, and even after that, I still ended up having to make a couple of customized scripts. Uh, so like this one I had to, to write in order to work with the, um, the cover images that are on my post. And I had to do another one that, uh, took a date and kind of replicated it and put it in a different spot for everything to kind of, kind of work right. And, um, I'll show you what it looks like. So in Hugo, all of my posts are in this content folder and then in a subfolder called post. And if we open up one of these, you can see there's a markdown file here. And here at the top, you have what they call front matter, which is going to be like the title and the date and your category and your tags and, and all those kind of things are going to be here. And this is where I use that date script at, um, because I can't remember if the conversion created this created date, but not the date or vice versa, one or the other. Uh, but I needed to add both of these dates in order for everything to work properly. And then I needed to do some conversion here on how the cover image was put into the front matter. That way I didn't have to go into like the, you know, almost hundred posts that I have and manually update these files. I could just use some simple Python scripts to go through all these for me and, and do that. And once I've done those things, now it's just a matter of customizing the site and picking out a theme. Hugo has different themes. Paper Mod is the one that I'm using, which seems to be fairly popular. Um, but yeah, Paper Mod, you can get it uh, from GitHub. There's instructions on the Hugo site and on Paper Mod on how to use it. I'll have all this linked down below if, if you're wanting to do something similar to what I did. Uh, but in the end, you know, this is what the site looks like now. And it loads way faster without all that blow, without having to deal with a bunch of different plugins and, and things like that. It is a little bit of a learning curve writing the post in Markdown language rather than using the uh, editor that's built into WordPress, which is, you know, pretty nice. I mean, it's evolved over time. It makes writing your posts very easy and putting images into them. It's really easy. And Markdown, it's not difficult. It's just a learning curve, and you just have to learn a different way of doing it. And it's not so much of a, a visual editor. You're typing a lot of it in, in text and doing a lot of things manually. But overall, um, to be able to get away from WordPress and to have a site that's pure you know, HTML, basically, is a huge win. It's something, like I said, that I'd want to do. It's kind of like we're going backwards, you know? The WordPress, uh, you know, it's evolved over time and it's great for bloggers. And now here I am going back to a pure HTML site like you would have written, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. So it just, it's kind of odd, you know, that we're taking that step back. But, you know, with WordPress things, like I said, it just gets so bloated. And uh, it just doesn't load very quickly. The experience isn't great. And the more stuff you keep adding to it, because uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing with WordPress. Everybody wants to use plugins or these fancy themes and this and that. And it just doesn't create a good experience for the end user sometimes because the site's slow to load. And then you add ads on top of that from like Google AdSense, and now it's even worse. Uh, so with this, it's just more of a pure experience. It's better for the end user and it, it's not without features. Uh, so if we go to this latest post that I did, uh, over in, uh, installing the Synology NAS on Proxmox, which I've already done a video about, if you want to check that out, you're interested in it. Um, I have it linked down below, but you can see that, you know, I can put images in here. It does have, um, code boxes so when i have code here it even has the copy button you can copy it to your clipboard like that uh the comments aren't there out of the box so you know comments are pretty popular on blogs and unfortunately i lost all of my comments i think there might have been a way to not do that uh but 
uh, somehow maybe I messed that up and I didn't get the comments, but there's various different commenting systems that you can use out there. This one's called comment box and you can fairly easily add that into your Hugo site and, you know, uh, social links, all of your tags, your categories, things like that. They're all there. Uh, contact form. Uh, you can do that. I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, it, it's just a matter of learning, you know, how to add these things. And there's a lot of documentation out there for Hugo, for paper mod and the other themes that can help you add these different aspects to your site to make it more user friendly and to add more functionality to it. You don't necessarily have to do this. Um, you know, paper mod comes with uh, both light and dark theme. And I chose to make the dark theme the default and take away the switcher that would allow you to switch from light to dark. Cause the light theme is, it's pretty bright and I don't think many people would like it. So I just disabled it, but you would have a little switch up here, uh, next to your site name where you could flip flop between the different modes. Uh, but overall, you know, once I, I did the hard work of getting everything converted, since then I've I've written two posts uh, since moving to Hugo, and it, it's it's been a good experience. I'm not uh, dissatisfied. I don't have any regrets about switching. And if we look at the speed test, uh, so GT metrics, it's 100 out of 100. Uh, Ping DOMs 97, and the page speed insights is 91 on mobile and 99 on desktop. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm excited to see what kind of difference this might make with uh, my search rankings and the traffic to the site. As I discussed in the previous video, it kind of took a little bit of a dip recently uh, when I'd moved to Linode and I'd been on Linode for a few months and then I transitioned over to uh, SiteGround to try my site out there. And now I've transitioned off of WordPress into the pure HTML site. So I'm excited to see what happens. And if you have any experience with Hugo, with PaperMod, or any of the other um, uh, HTML site generators or frameworks, leave a comment down below. And let me know about your experience and other people too. It'd be really cool to see more people you know, try out some of these technologies and run their sites on these and hear about their experiences with it. But really, that's all I got for you today. I'll have links in the description for everything I talked about here. Like I said, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and I hope everybody has a great week. Thanks.